A tragic update on a story that grabbed headlines back in 2004. Kevin Fox was accused of killing his three-year-old daughter Riley in Will County. He was cleared by DNA, but his life was never the same. This week, Kevin Fox was killed in a head-on crash in Arkansas. NBC 5's Everard Casimi has his story. Tragic, tragic loss. Kathleen Zellner, Kevin Fox's attorney, reacts to the news of her client's tragic death. Fox was killed Monday in a head-on crash in Arkansas, where he lived. He was traveling down a two-lane highway, and a car that was coming towards him crossed over the center line and hit him head-on. Fox made headlines when he was wrongly arrested by the Will County Sheriff's Department, accused of raping and murdering his three-year-old daughter, Riley Fox, in 2004. I blame myself, I guess, for a while, like, always because I was home at the time. He was in jail for eight months, charged with her murder, before DNA evidence exonerated him and the killer confessed. He and his then wife were awarded millions of dollars in damages, but what was most important to him was clearing his name. We had been offered millions of dollars to settle the case, and he refused to do that um, on the eve of trial. He said that he didn't care if we got 25 cents, that he wanted his name cleared. Since his exoneration and his name was cleared, Fox left Illinois and moved to Arkansas. He remarried, started a business, and moved on with his life. He now leaves behind three children. He led an incredible life. He was just, you know, the nicest, warmest person. And of course, Kevin will be greatly missed by those who knew him. He was just 46 years old when he was killed. As for what caused the crash, that has not been identified just yet. The other driver of the vehicle that hit him was killed as well. Everett Casimir, NBC5 News.